Now we're going to stick with the numerical order of the candidates. Moon Jae-in uh, tops the election ballot. He's number one on those ballots. So now we're going to move to number two, Hong Jun-pyo of the Conservative Liberty Korea Party. Hong was also in the southeast of the country on Wednesday, which was Buddha's birthday, a national holiday, and he was really there to stump hearts, uh, stump hard rather, to win the hearts of voters. Shin se -min with this report. Back in home turf again is Conservative Liberty Korea Party candidate Hong Jun-pyo. The self-described strong man revisited the nation's port city of Busan, this time with a much clearer pledge. He and only he can make South Korea strong in the face of threats from the North and sandwiched between the U.S., Japan and China. Calling out his rival candidate Moon Jae-in of the Liberal Democratic Party, Hong brought up the final TV debate from the night before. Moon, he said, has no clear vision on how to handle North Korea. Moon accidentally concurred that North Korea was an axis of evil. I asked, then will you get rid of that axis of evil, Kim Jong-un? He couldn't give an answer. I'll bet he regretted all night that he called Kim an axis of evil. Such a candidate can never beef up our national security. Hong shored up support as he made through the city being greeted by huge crowds. His strategy seems clear, tapping on the traditional conservative stronghold of the country's southeast region. Hong is firming up his support base from here in Busan for one last time on what will most likely be his last visit to the region before the May 9th presidential election. Earlier in the day, Hong dropped by at a temple in southern Seoul to celebrate the birth anniversary of Buddha and a police station in the western corner of the capital to offer words of encouragement. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.